trekking through and trekking. Trekking is one of And Godolphin might just have another big chance as they have a crack at a $14 million race. He's got a sharp turn of foot. and They'll know he's there, that's for sure. It's definitely been a target for, for trekking. The biggest race on turf. This is a race that continues to deliver. The load is on for the Everest and the gates are back, they're off. The horse had a big challenge ahead of him to do that. Not just a seven day turnaround, but to travel back to Sydney and pump himself up again for another crack at a wait for age race. Santa in a lane five off them looking for room, getting to the outside now. Nature's trip at the 200, two in front, the Red Zell. Yes, 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 is winding up for the back then to trekking and Santa in a lane. The Colt, yes, 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 takes the lead. Santa in a lane is charging at the end. Yes, 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 wins the Everest. Trekking third. As we thought he'd be the strong horse late, he just kept coming and coming with a, with a strong run. Terrific effort from him. Mm. Delighted. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, team. Tough Thank effort, you. tough effort. Very. Thank it was you. a massive effort from trekking to actually go through that preparation from our team to fulfil our goal to get him into the race by using the promotion from the MRC. It was a really good demonstration of how good a traveller trekking is, how tough he can be and how he can just keep turning up and delivering that, that performance at that level, race in, race out. Gitra and Trekking, Trekking got up to win, final stride. It's all Trekking for the Blue Army and Trekking's won the straight break. So Trekking's run in the Moya was, was very solid obviously, it was reminiscent for me of a horse called Mental who ran a similar race in the Manicato at Mooney Valley before coming out and, and winning the Darley Sprint Classic uh, in a dominant style so you know, really encouraged by his first up performance Trekking and he certainly gives the impression that he's ready to, to springboard at his next and make his presence felt in a, in a race of real consequence. So he really put his hand up as being a contender and we think that he's now tough enough and seasoned enough to go straight into the Everest second up and a, an opportunity for trekking to take his credentials that one step further to put himself down as a, one of the best sprinters we've, we've actually had through the stable in recent years. Trekking is by Street Cry. Street Cry was a horse that was raced by Godolphin, owned by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, raced in America, raced in Dubai, hugely successful racehorse. It's Street Cry and Jerry Bailey opening up now by five. He's put the field away, and Street Cry is sharp as nails. He goes on to win it by five weeks. He was identified as a horse that had commercial appeal here in Australia. Now he was an unbelievable stallion. He was one of the foundation stallions here, standing uh, here in 2003. He actually stood in the uh, end stable on the right down there. Street Cry, the sire of Winx, Zenyatta, shocking, a Melbourne Cup winner, and trekking, he takes on the Everest again. He's a horse that has left a legacy of sons and daughters, of shuttle horses like Territories um, on his dam side and daughters, many daughters, that will prove that his influence can never be underestimated.